If you watched the first video in this series, What Pivot Tables Do For You, you have a sense of how pivot tables are able to break down numeric variables by one or more categorical variables. You might not yet realize how pivot tables accomplish these breakdowns, that is, the steps involved in creating pivot tables, but I will assure you that the process is very quick and easy. Before learning these steps, you can gain some appreciation by seeing how you could accomplish these same breakdowns without pivot tables, using only Excel's other tools. It is possible, but it's painful, as I will illustrate in this video. The data set you see here lists 434 movies from 2011. My boss has asked me to create two tables, one of average 2011 gross, broken down by genre and MPAA rating, and another of the counts of movies in joint genre MPAA rating categories. Here are the results, although I've cheated by using pivot tables to generate them. The first pivot table shows the averages, and the second shows the counts. It literally took me a few seconds to create these. Note that blanks appear where there are no movies in particular joint categories, such as Action G rated movies. These blanks were inserted automatically when I created the pivot tables. It is possible to get the same results without using pivot tables, as I will now show. I won't actually show you the work involved. It would take too long, but I will explain the method and the formulas. Here are the results. The left table has some errors, but I'll fix them in a minute. To get these tables, I first had to list the genres on the left and the ratings at the top. This is not necessarily easy unless you know the trick. The trick is to copy a column from the data sheet, such as the genre column, to another place in the workbook, and then use the remove duplicates item on the data ribbon. This provides a list of all its distinct values. Then I can use copyable average ifs and count ifs formulas to fill in the tables. The formulas are straightforward, at least if you know these two Excel functions, but they're pretty messy. In any case, a single copyable formula suffices for each of the tables. The errors in the left table are caused by dividing by zero in the averages. I can get rid of them by using Excel's if error function. This isn't necessary in the counts table because counts of zero movies are perfectly acceptable, maybe even preferable to blanks. So without too much work, I was able to replicate the pivot table results. But now suppose my boss asks me to break down the sum of 2011 tickets sold by the categories used earlier or by other categories such as distributor or even release date. I would have to create more tables with complex formulas. In contrast, I could satisfy my boss in a few seconds by modifying the existing pivot tables. Hopefully you get the point. Pivot tables do what other Excel tools could do, but they do it much more quickly and easily. Besides, there is much less chance of making errors with pivot tables.